I first like to acknowledge some of our uh, uh, really great supporters who took the time to visit us for this event today. Uh, Councilman Leon Pinkett and uh, Mayor Catherine Pugh, who hasn't arrived yet, but she is en route. There is someone here from her office. Um, our Chancellor, Robert Correct. And I haven't seen her yet this morning, but I believe Senator Barbara Robinson is here as well. She sends her regrets, but she is a, a strong cop and supporter. Um, in keeping with the theme of, and Regent Will Shorter is also here. Excuse me, Mr. Shorter. <laughs> In keeping with the theme of the university celebration this year uh, of African American History Month, the theme is African Americans in times of war. Today we're here to honor our very first African American Commander in Chief, President Barack Obama. Uh, we were going to, and I have to give you my apologies, have the colors presented by our ROTC color guard. Unfortunately, we didn't account for the low ceilings of the, on the, of the first floor of the library, uh, so they won't be able to present the colors. Um, but I'd like to acknowledge the students who were here to make that happen, and they are Cadet Aaliyah Brown, Cadet Brittany Price, Cadet Emmanuel Majikodonmi, and Cadet Miracle Lawson, Cadet Atasia Wells. Since leaving office and even before his administration was over, artists all over the world generated work to pay homage to President Obama, from paintings and sculptures to buildings and schools bearing his name. And while there may be many, it was a privilege for Coppin State to be able to join in honoring our first African American president with the unveiling of a bronze bust here today. While President Obama was invited to be here today, the work of such a noble leader is never finished and he sends his regrets. The program this morning will include remarks to express our appreciation of the Obama presidency and the significance of his place in our history. Of course, the unveiling of a presidential bust begs for a presidential presence, so it is my privilege to introduce to you the president of our university, Dr. Maria Thompson. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I want to welcome all of you to our wonderful campus and thank you for being here to help us continue our celebration of African American History Month. The theme of this year's celebration is African Americans in time of war. It is only fitting that today, which is also President's Day, that we honor our first African-American Commander-in-Chief, President Barack Obama. Born in Hawaii to a white mother from Kansas and a black father from Kenya and raised with the help of his maternal grandparents who instilled in him the importance of humility and being unpretentious. Barack Obama was compelled to devote his life to public service. His journey of making history began when he became the first African American president of the Harvard Law Review. After law school, he moved to Chicago and taught constitutional law at the University of Chicago. While there, he began his career in public service, winning seats in the Illinois State Senate and the United States Senate, where he became the fifth Kenyan American senator in U.S. history, making history yet again on November 4, 2008. He was elected as the 44th president of the United States winning more votes than any other candidate in history. He took office at a time of crisis, unlike any other American had seen in decades. A nation at war, a planet in peril, 
the American dream itself, threatened by the worst economic conditions since the Great Depression. President Obama's leadership helped to rescue the economy, revitalize the American auto industry, reform the health care system, and put the country on a firm course to a clean energy future, all while overseeing the longest stretch of job creation in American history. During times of great challenge and change, President Obama's leadership facilitated a stronger economy and a nation more secure at home and more respected around the world. The Obama years were ones in which more of our people, African American people, could see themselves in the changing face of America. Moving into a, a White House that was built by African American ancestors and leading a country under a constitution that previously supported the notion that slave ancestors were to be counted as three-fifths of a person, Barack Obama's election cultivated the hope of a more equitable society. In the words of Maya Angelou, he was the dream and the hope of the slave. While the Obama presidency proved, provided a commander in chief principled in diplomacy and who helped wind down the years of war in Iraq and Afghanistan, decimating Al Qaeda and eliminating some of the world's most wanted terrorists, he was also the commander in chief in our war against those who would support the belief that African Americans are less than whole. As the face of our nation, he was truly change to believe in, hope for all of us to carry on and continue a fight for equity. So today, it is my privilege to honor President Barack Obama with the dedication of a bronze bust. The bust was created by the artist Matthew Gonzalez, and it was produced and commissioned by Peter Kaplan of Our World LLC. Our own Coppin State alum, Larry Poncho Brown, is responsible for providing Coppin State University the opportunity to acquire the bust. Acquisition of the bust would, have, would not be possible without the generous donations received from Coppin alum and longtime friend of the university, James Winky Camfer, and the CSU Development Foundation, led by our Vice President for Institutional Advancement, Douglas Dalzell. I want to extend my sincerest thanks to you for your dedication to Coppin. Supporters like you contribute to the success of our outstanding university. Thank you. Now we will have uh, remarks from a student representative of Coppin State University explaining the significance of the gift by Ms. Mercy Rufai. Good morning, can everybody hear me? Good morning, Coppinites, Coppin alums, and special guests. On behalf of Coppin students, I am honored that we have this new representation of black excellence on the prestigious campus of Coppin State University. Although President Obama had degrees from Harvard and Columbia University, that did not make him who he is. Neither did being black. He was determined from a young age not to be an ordinary man, and he knew to achieve that, he had to search for what made him extraordinary. That search led him to the spirit of excellence. Anyone can wake up and say, I want to be the President of the United States. But it takes an extraordinary person, one filled with boldness and the spirit of excellence, to go for it. He found within himself that he was great enough 
strong enough and powerful enough to carry nations on his shoulders. And no one could give that mindset to him but him. His color did not lim limit him because he did not let it limit him. We all have the spirit of excellence in us. We must know that we are bold enough, strong enough, and powerful enough, no matter our race, color, or nationality. We can do anything we put our mind to. This bust of President Obama will stand as a symbol that the sky is no longer the limit. The only thing that can limit you is you. Thank you. And now I will ask uh, Mr. James Camper to come forward along with Douglas Dalzell from the, the uh, Coppin State University Development Foundation, Larry Poncho Brown, the Coppin State alum who assisted in making this possible. You did such a great job. Thank you so much. And so I was one of the original artists that created one of the first four bus. Uh, and we decided that why not place one here in Baltimore? So I partnered with Peter Kaplan, I partnered with Joe Ford, I partnered with Carver Senior High School, uh, the Linwood Joe Scholarship Fund, and, and James Little Camper. We all got together to secure this first bus for Cotton City University. My name is uh, Joseph Ford, and um, I'm an alum from um, uh, uh, Carver and uh, the Maryland Institute College of Art. And Poncho, and Poncho as well, he's a, an alum from, um, from Carver. And over the years, we've been collaborating on a number of projects. Uh, so he approached me uh, about the Obama bus and uh, try to figure out, you know, it's a kind of a costly project. They're bronze and uh, it, it was, we had to figure out a way to come up with the funding. The bronze version of that is what we see here um, by Matthew, Matthew Gonzalez. And basically, uh, the task now is to place as many of these buses as we can in historically black colleges and libraries across the country. And so I'm very instrumental in making sure that this first one was placed here at Coppin State University. And we hope to place uh, more in other institutions. So if you need one, contact us.